<laughs> That's what I've been looking for. <laughs> Throw me up there. Yep. She doesn't mind being tossed here. Princess Rudo got the spiritual stone, but why Rudo? <laughs> That's another funny quote you'll see. <laughs> oh my goodness. Finally found my mother's stone. <laughs> got very upset when Jabba Jabba swallowed it. And I'll bet he swallowed it just to really protect it from Ganondorf. <laughs> While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. <laughs> so surprised I dropped it inside. <laughs> That's actually good to hear. Yep. Go ahead and take you home. I'd be happy to. Yep. You would definitely expect a gimmick when you hear something like that. Now we're locked in this room. And it's a giant Ogdenrock. <laughs> yeah, she said octopus, but not necessarily that. Oh. But yeah. This is kind of more like a lottery type of boss. Because the key here is to get his to get his back. Man, oh man. It's going to be really tough trying to get to his back quickly enough. Can I please stop targeting him? Oh. Yeah, this boss is not that easy. Maybe I might catch up to him this way. I keep forgetting how I... The, the most effective strategy to get him. I feel like I'm really gaining ground on him now. Oh yeah. I mean, I can see those waves back there. I... Come on, you. Um... I don't know. He's moving way too fast. And I keep getting stuck in those spikes. Come on. And why did he decide to change course? Let's see if he'll, um, make a move back. No. Dang, I really gotta be careful. Uh, now he's going that way. That's kind of what I want him to do, but he is moving at about the same speed I am. If only I could just get a little bit closer to him. Come on! Oh yeah, we're gaining up on him now. Let's go! Come on, this, come on, boomerang. There we go. But yeah, as he's spinning, that that's the lottery thing. Oh, man. But yeah, it can be used as a little sacrifice right there. Yeah, but I kind of wanted to hit him as he's spinning. Yeah, like that. Still needs about another hit or two. Come on. Oh, yeah. Now I finally got it. Sheesh. Man, I made that tougher than it... Tougher than it should be. Well, Rudo is not up here. And I didn't really have to do that. <laughs> it's, oh, come on. And yeah, these guys are kind of disgusting too, but... Just have to... Oh! Oh, you Octorok. You are just a jerk. Yeah, take that. He screwed me over right there. And it took him that long for him to die. My gosh. Got another one of these. I forgot what they're called. But they kind of remind me of, um... My most hated enemy in all of Zelda games. <laughs> Which you're about to see. <laughs> A lot later on. <laughs> oh. Now that bridge is brought down. <laughs> now they're back into the room that has 
That's like the second room of the dungeon anyway. Gotta bring a box over. <laughs> Cause we got a switch. That's gonna do this too. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it pressed. <laughs> That's pretty much the best way to do it. Yeah, might as well get rid of these guys. And I must say, I'm very happy to not be doing the Master Quest version of this game. And yeah, there is. It's just, um... A little more, um, where the dungeons are a little bit reshaped. Or even just added a little bit more of a challenge. Because in this room and a couple of others, they have my most unfavorite enemy in this room. In the Master Quest version. <laughs> and it just really... He, that enemy just scares the heck out of me. Okay. Well, we've already got more than 10 of these. But 30 is the next number to get to for a, for another money upgrade. And I'm actually going to try something pretty weird. As I get to 30. But yeah, the only way to hit this switch is to go make the boomerang go around like that. Can't use Deku seeds for it cuz got glass in front of it. Uh, yeah, we already hit that switch. Man, Navi, you are so dumb. I know you're trying to be helpful and everything, but it was pretty obvious that there was a switch right there. Anyways, time for the boss. Which looks like a lot of jellyfish right now. Connected to something very electrical. <laughs> Baronade. And yeah, this guy has a lot of phases. One of those phase type bosses. <laughs> this is the only time you'll ever have to do this phase. Shoot the top tentacles. <laughs> Okay. Think yep. Since all of them are gone, now all these jellyfish are free to fly around. But I gotta destroy the source of them being attached and everything. And here he goes with a much more aggressive Oh come on. Yeah, that those jellyfish are really good shield to him, but the, the, the boomerang will still make it through in just very small cases. It really will. It's just not going through. There we go. But I can't destroy Baronade himself right now. Gotta get rid of his cohorts. Come on. But at least now that most of them are out of the way, it can be easy to get the boomerang on him. This, that was like, oh, man, he only had one left. And, and I wanted to lock onto him. Navi. Uh, I'm trying to lock onto this guy. There. And now, since he doesn't have any more jellyfish, he's just going to have to go all out on his own. Yeah. Now he really wants to protect himself. <laughs> It's all about just dodging these um these things. Now he'll now he's taking his chances again. Oh yeah. Uh, I gotta go through this one more time. Ooh, kind of ducked with that, but I should be okay. Got five hearts. That's plenty. And he's done. Got lots of lumps growing on him now. <laughs> Now that's a better sound effect for a boss being defeated. And another heart container has been collected. Yeah. Your life energy will be totally filled. 
I could sure use it that way. And I didn't mean to really go for that rupee. And I don't why they don't see why they put didn't put this in dead center of the uh, room. But at least uh, Rudo is here. <laughs> Fine. Oh well. At least she's rescued. <laughs> that just caught him by surprise. <laughs> And yeah, here she comes up to me. <laughs> Pretty much in a more cute way. <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> this is what, um, best does. <laughs> anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. Yep. What do you wish? I want that spiritual stone. Now, if you say nothing really, she'll give you that spiritual stone anyway, but pretty much as an offer. <laughs> But more like a just take it anyway scene. Zora Sapphire is what it's called. <laughs> my mother gave it to me and said, she give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. <laughs> yep. My most precious possession. <laughs> but I don't see how, um,. How he could potentially marry a Zora. <laughs> yeah. You pretty much get what I say. <laughs> and he's hanging on to this stone <laughs> in water. <laughs> you obtained Zora's Sapphire, Spiritual Stone of Water. Her most precious possession? Don't know what she's talking about, but she finally collected all three spiritual stones. I really, do, I really don't know why they put that up. You don't know what she's talking about, precious possession. I mean, if that is her precious possession, it, it should be obvious that it, um, I mean that, that it is a precious thing. <laughs> but yeah, collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to Z to see Zelda. That that was pretty much her order. Once we collect all three. Don't tell my father. 